Good morning, and welcome to today's Mass. In today's reading, we'll hear a description of what life was like within the early church community. Our lives look very different today than those of the earliest disciples, but we should learn from them not to put too much weight on personal possessions. We should give to those in need. We should dedicate ourselves to worshiping together, to breaking the bread of Eucharist regularly. We should cultivate a spirit of gratitude and praise. As we begin our celebration, please stand and sing together our gathering song. Number 184 is in Rise of It Sing. Sing out, earth and skies. Number 184. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our journey through the season of Easter, we come before the risen Savior Jesus Christ, who gives us his very life and his love. And we acknowledge our sins and our failures as we ask for his pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. O God, who opens wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing, that in your kindness you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders, and the scribes, 
You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, who betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend you the Spirit. I commend you, O Lord, I commend you the Spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, what sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
How many of you have a lock for your bike? Now, adults, you remember when we were kids, that was a big thing. You better lock your bike up or somebody's going to steal it. All right, now let me find out how many of you wear a seat belt? Even JK. Good. Wonderful. How many of you have your parents lock up the house at night before you go to sleep? Okay. How many of you feel like you're living in jail? <laughs> How many of you have an alarm system in your house? Well, this is very good for the alarm companies, isn't it? They're doing good business. How many of you have set off the alarm by accident? <laughs> I bet that really upset your poor parents, yes. You set off the alarm. Now, you have all of this security. Other than a mistake, has that ever failed? Has the security that you have ever failed? Can you give me an example? Yes. Um, one time, we don't let our dogs in, and then Kiwi got in. The dog is not allowed in the house, yeah. but somehow got in. All your security failed, and the dog was smarter than the humans. That happens sometimes. Give me another example. The smoke detector went off, maybe because there was a little bit too much grease in the stove, and the smoke starts, and yeah, sometimes those things happen. Yes, what else happened? You forgot to lock the door? And did something come in like an iguana? Or a gorilla? No. Go ahead, give me one example where the security failed. Aha, his security cameras failed to detect an intruder. Do you know what the intruder was? A snake, a snake. And when they opened the door that morning, they didn't realize he was right there waiting for them. I hope he didn't bite you. Good. So all of this security, all of the efforts that we put into using keys and locks and alarms and all kinds of security, Sometimes that fails. Now, what about our security in Jesus? Do we have security in Jesus? How so? How is it that we are secure in Jesus? Yes. Jesus takes care of us. Yes. Jesus protects us. We are baptized, we're part of God's church, and he is in us. Exactly right. No matter where you go, no matter what worldly, earthly securities fail, we have certainty by our baptism that we belong to Jesus, and he will never fail us. Yes. And Jesus will guide us, exactly. Jesus, because he's the good shepherd. And the shepherd will guide his sheep. Yes, what else? He'll help us, that's right. Jesus will help us. Oh, J.K. is very active today, very good. Let's see what else. Yes. Jesus loves us. Oh, he'll bring the Holy Spirit to us. That's very good. Yes? I couldn't hear him. Can you tell me? 
He's whispering the Holy Spirit to me, but my ears aren't strong enough this morning. <laughs> Try one more time. Yes, Jesus loves us. And finally, he helps us no matter where we are, no matter what the circumstance is. Now, today in our first reading, we read about one of the great deacons, like Deacon Vic, that's called Stephen, Deacon Stephen of the early church. He was preaching the truth, and they didn't like it. You know what they were? They were bullies, a whole bunch of bullies. They didn't like what St. Stephen was saying about God and Jesus, and so they picked up stones. Je he saw heaven. St. Stephen looked up, he saw God, and they were furious because they didn't. And so they picked up rocks, and they actually stoned him, right? They killed him by stoning. You know who was right there, a young fellow? He was a very devout member of his congregation, and he didn't do anything to stop it. Do you remember his name? It was the last name that was mentioned in the first reading. Do you remember? Saul, exactly. His name is Saul. Now, let's see if any of our presenting class know Saul became a bad boy. Okay, Saul was an ancient king of Israel who did turn bad, unfortunately, before King David. But then this Saul, who was named after him, turned good. Do you remember who that was? Rhymes with Saul. All you have to do is change one letter. Paul. He becomes St. Paul. His stained glass window is right there before you. St. Paul has a great conversion because he did listen to God. Even though he was misunderstood and he misunderstood God, eventually he got it right. And God made him one of his greatest preachers. So see, God can change any heart, even somebody who's a bully, like those who stoned and killed St. Stephen. And Jesus said this about himself. I am the blank bread come down from heaven. Fill in the blank. What is it? Holy, but there's another word that he uses about himself. Yes. He is the bread of life, but if you say, I am the blank bread, it's very important. Yes. It just slipped away. Go ahead. Spirit. Well, there's spirit in this bread, yes. Holy Spirit, but go ahead. And it is his body, his holy body. What else? And it is sacred, absolutely. Living. It's alive. All right, now you remember the bread that God gave to the Israelites when they were traveling through the desert. How many of you know what dew is? And I'm not talking about honeydew. I'm not talking about your to-do list. Okay, I'm talking about dew that you find on grass early in the morning. What is that? Do you know? This young fellow. Drops of water, moisture on the grass. Okay. When God provided this food for the Israelites, they said it was like dew on the grass. Every morning they would find it. And it was as though you had cream of wheat on the ground, okay? Any of you ever had cream of wheat? Just a few of you? Oh, you're missing out. I love cream of wheat. All right, so imagine you get up in the morning and you've got this on the ground and they gathered it and that was their bread, that was their breakfast, okay? But Jesus said, yes, your ancestors had bread that came down from heaven. That's the way look, they looked at it. He says, but I am the living bread come down from heaven. How many of you have ever had a cream puff? 
Oh, so many of you have not had the experience of a cream puff. All right, how many of you have had a chocolate eclair? I think we need to bring more French pastries into our, <laughs> our world. Okay. When you look at a cream puff on the outside, what does it look like? Very deprived children, they don't even know what a cream puff looks like. Go ahead. Can you help me? Do you know what it looks like? Say again. Hard and crispy. Okay. Hard bread. It looks like hard bread right on the outside. What is on the inside of a cream puff? It could be ice cream. Yes. It could be ice cream or it could just be plain... Uh, like an inner frosting, what do we call it? It's puffy on the outside, that's right, and on the inside. Some of them could be filled with jelly. Creamy, thank you, it's cream. That's why it's called a cream puff. Okay, very good, it was obvious, it was too obvious. So you have cream on the inside, and on the outside, you don't have a clue. Now let's try an éclair. Do you know what an éclair is? Yes. Bread on the outside, and a thin layer of chocolate on the inside. Very good. So when you eat, when you look at it, you don't exactly know what's on the inside unless they told you, right? But your first time, especially since so many of you are deprived of that beautiful experience, I hope your grandparents will take you. Your parents are too busy. But your grandparents, they can go to the French bakery and get them for them. So you see one thing on the outside, but there's another thing on the inside. And so it is with the Holy Eucharist. It appears to be bread. But Jesus said this is living bread. And some of you are about to, uh, raise your hand if you're going to make your first Holy Communion this Friday or Saturday. Where are our third graders? Look at this crew. We practiced, didn't we, last Saturday, and you're very enthusiastic, and rightfully so, because they're going to be receiving not just ordinary bread, but they're going to be receiving Jesus, who is the living bread come down from heaven. And Jesus is the one who can change our hearts. Even a bully like Saul into a saint like Paul, his new name. So let's stand up now and pray that we too might have a change of heart and see that from the outside things may look one way, but on the inside there may be a living reality. Let us offer our petitions to the Lord. Our spot says, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, Bishop, Priests, and all the leaders of the Church, that they may guide us in our journey of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community, that we may grow in love and understanding for one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our school who are struggling, may they find comfort and support. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the sick, the poor, and the oppressed, may they receive the help they need and feel God's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For those who have died in memory of Billy Kennedy and Peter Tafoya, may they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For the special intentions of Clary Avis 
sickness and all our families and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Well, gracious Father, we thank you for the gift of your son Jesus, who is the living bread come down from heaven. He makes us secure in your love, confident that you are with us always. And hear these prayers as we make them through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. As the gifts are being prepared, please join in singing our preparation song, number 209, in Rise of and Sing, Prayer of St. Francis, number 209. <laughs> Pray dearly, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. We praise the Lord in his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exalted church, and as you've given a cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. But in this time, above all, to love you, Lord, more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. To him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the saints. And his death is our ransom from death, but his rising, the life of all, has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joys, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs>
font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the deacon, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring into the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, John our Archbishop, and all the churches. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who die in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all that we... We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul, St. Stephen, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our state our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer to those around us a sign of Christ's peace. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Peace. Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. I only say the word that my soul shall forgive you. As we become one in the Holy Eucharist, let us become one in sung prayer. Please join us in singing our communion song, number 304, and rise up and sing. I am the bread of life, number 304.
We continue singing our communion praise with number 301 and rise up and sing, Jesus, Jesus you are bread for us, number 301. Lord, look with kindness upon your people and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, and peace. And give glory to God with your life. As we go forth to lift the gospel, please join in singing our, our song of sending, number 196, and rise up and sing, bring forth the kingdom, number 196. Before beginning our closing song, please wait to genuflect with Monsignor Voorhees as we reverently end our celebration. the earth. 